County man claims a major triumph in his three-year quest to protect men from paying child support for children they didn't father. Last year, he helped change Georgia law, and today his work was put to the test with his own future on the line. Fox 5's Lisa Crane has the story. Okay, the first case is Tony Odom versus Carnell Smith. But it was a case that didn't make it into open court. After years of fighting, a judge today ruled Carnell Smith was not responsible to pay child support to a child he did not father. Almost three years ago, a DNA test proved that the then 11-year-old girl he had thought was his own was not his child. But in Georgia, that didn't mean the end of his own obligation to financially support that child. Smith turned his case into a crusade and helped shape paternity fraud legislation that passed last okay. year. Today, his case was the first to test the new law and in chambers the judge terminated his parental rights and obligations i feel this is a major victory for 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 defrauded victims everywhere there were a lot of people watching this case like reverend randall robinson through dna testing he discovered that some of the children he had always thought were his own weren't in a previous marriage and uh two out of the three children are, are not mine at that time, I still was ordered by the court to pay child support. And this is the first real test of this new legislation, but it appears right now that even after a man proves he is not the biological father, he must still come to court to end his child support obligation. Smith says there's still work to be done in Georgia. We're going to ask that there be a truth in pregnancy disclosure, that we believe that mothers who know there's more than one person that could be the child's father should be required to make that declaration before the court in the very first hearing. In DeKalb County, Lisa Crane, Fox 5 News. Carnell Smith is also working on similar legislation in more than 20 other states and in several other countries. He says he would still like to have contact with the now 14-year-old girl he thought was his daughter, but he says that's up to her mother.